Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Riyad Mahrez. He's one of the best dribblers around, Peter, with such delicate close control and, and wonderful balance. He could finish with the best of them too, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him score a few cracking individual efforts for this team. He loves to move in from that right flank and unleash with his left foot. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Got things on the way. Mondi. Benzia. A really good feat. Time to deliver. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Hungary can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. And it's Morris. Benzia. He gets past his man. Can he? Has a goal! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. to get it forward quickly. Mores! A whisker high. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. Mares can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. He's got away. Oh, 
forward it goes. Algeria have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. What a throw in. His high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Knocked down by a lack of accuracy. And it's shall I? He could be... It goes for goal! Goal! Hungary! And Hungary are in front! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Shall I? Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Short hits one. And we'll play for a throw. Contact, lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Oh, real danger here! And it shall I. Now it's shall I? Oh, shooting chance! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Hoist it forward. Mares. He's left his man, hit into the middle. Hits one! Gets good distance on it. And it's played forward, and here's the chance to counter. Could go all the way here. Oh, question, that's a foul. That's going to be a booking. (laughs) 
tries a header! Great early ball. So it can't be set for the finish. Look, there'll be no complaints at all with quick service like that. It's so difficult to defend when the ball comes in so swiftly. If you can't question the finishing in this instance. I think, though, there's enough grounds for them to keep working at it. Shot a goal! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Made sure that that won't get through. And it's Morris. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. to locate someone up front. Now it's Shalai. Towering header! Oh, I just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. For Cooley. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Faguli. Faguli's cross. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Now the counter. Gets away from his opponents. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Here's the delivery. Tries to get it clear. Gets the better of his man. Knocks it away. Gets it back. Played into the middle. Great leap! And it's half-time here. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But look, it still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Hungary leading 1-0 at the break. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Hungary going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Lovely bit of skill. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Mares. Oh. 
And here's Mares. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be outmuscled. Hoists it forward. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Faguli finds himself eased off the ball. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. And here's Shalai. Oh, not quite. Back for a throw. Algeria still behind thanks to that solitary strike. Benzia. A really good feat from him. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And it's for Gouli. Plays it into... Shaped for an overhead! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Hungary have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. to take the muscular approach. Well, that's where he wants it. Going through, and Mares! He's pulled off a fine save. Mares sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Benzia, beautifully done, out to the left it goes. Algeria showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Has a pop! Really well taken goal. Well, it's certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Tries to get it forward quickly. There to clear it.
forward it goes. Benzia. Dashing forward at pace. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Gets up to head it! Tries to get it forward quickly. Has a look and has a hit! Movement there, but not the best of finishes. Algeria can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Forward it goes. Gets the better of his man. Hoists it forward. Slimani. Lovely feet. Up to meet it! And somehow he managed to miss it. You get the feeling that whoever scores the next goal here will be the winners of this type. They can't afford to waste chances like that, though. Slimani. And he's searching through. Big chance! And that's a real chance missed. Oh, that is asking for trouble. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Looking to win it with time against them. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Caught offside that time. Slimani. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. He gets past his man. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Bentaleb, Mondi, and it's played forward. And here's Slimani. Gets his head to it. Oh, he couldn't get. 
the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Slimani. Hoists it forward. And that is that. So nothing between them after all of that. And you can't really argue with the result. Yeah, the manager too unhappy with the outcome. And the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Algeria certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon.